Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. In this video, we'll be talking about an absolute laggard of a stock which is down 80% from its all-time high and where Rakesh Junjunwala has bought 1.30 crore shares aggregating to a 0.51% stake in the company. The stocks were purchased at Rs 67.10 each at a total investment of Rs 86.89 crores. Also friends, if you like the content that we produce on our channel, please don't forget to like this video, share these videos and if you have not already subscribed to this channel, please click on the red subscribe button to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Please watch this video to know more about this stock. Now the company in question is Yes Bank Limited which is available at Rs 68.70 and the face value for it is 2. The symbol for it is Y-E-S-P-A-N-K. Now Yes Bank Limited is a private sector bank engaged in providing banking services including corporate and institutional banking, financial markets, investment banking, corporate finance, branch banking, business and transaction banking and also wealth management. The company's segments include treasury, corporate and wholesale banking, retail banking and also other banking operations. Now as is evident from the one year chart, this company had a small uptrend towards the start of the year but then literally fell off a cliff. The company has a market capitalization of 17,520.78 crores which means that this company is a mid cap one. It recently reported disastrous results where the asset quality significantly worsened and the provisions also were up. The company is loss making and hence the earnings per share and the price to earnings ratio are not applicable. Even though it's optically inexpensive at 0.65 times book, however we don't know the extent of toxicity present on the books of Yes Bank. The company's debt to equity of 3.3590 is very expensive, however the dividend yield of 2.91 is decent, however with the current predicament of the company, it's doubtful as to how long this dividend payout could continue. The promoter holding stands at 13.04%, out of which 35.05% is placed. There have also been a lot of negative news items around Rana Kapoor and his clan, so the promoter situation also is not certain. Now friends, please don't consider this to be a recommendation on our part, please go ahead and do your own research. This is hardly a few percentage points of Rakesh Junjunwala's portfolio and hence please apply your own discretion prior to entering this stock. Thanks for watching and if you have not already subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so.